Right. Okay. Uh, this is a diminished run. Uh, this is just an exercise which involves the diminished arpeggio. Now we're going to start on the 7th fret on the G with your 1st finger. Your 2nd finger is on the 8th on the D. Your 3rd finger is on the 9th on the A. And your little finger is on the 10th on the E. So it sounds like this. Now, so very suspense and then reverse it. I'll go up. And eventually it'll get, get clean like that. Now we're moving the thing is we're keeping the hand position the same, but we're just gonna then invert the shape. So you know doing 7E, 8A, 9 on the D and 10 on the E. We're using the first using the same fingering so yeah so you're doing it all together and basically you just the idea is just then you're moving as you get quicker is just you doing the movement and it you can't play it with your thumb over your top, I must say that. Bass players that play with the thumb over the top, there are a few. It, to be honest, unless you've got massive hands, if you're not blessed like I've got quite small hands, you cannot play bass with your thumb over the top. It's not guitar, the strings aren't, th the, the, the frets are wider and the strings are wider apart. So you need to really get into the classical position. So you've got... Okay, now, a little bit more tricky, once you've got your head around that, then this little tricky ditty is the same idea, but you're moving on the second time where you're jumping to the lower strings, you're moving down a fret. So you've still got the 7, 8, 9, 10, as before, and then when we're jumping, we're now jumping to the E6, A7, D8, and G9. So that's E6, A7, D8, and G9. So we're basically moving across. Slow down. Now, as I'm a five string player, which some of my students are, you could basically, instead of going to the E, you go to the B, which is one string up, which is a bit trickier. So it's the same, same fingering as before on the E one, it's just you're doing six on the B, seven on the E, 8 on the A and then 9 on the D instead. And it's just quite a cool little exercise and it just helps you being a bit more dexterous and using all your fingers. So you've got... Second times. Anyway, I hope that really helps. Please like and subscribe.